Hi, it's Tom from Green Shorts, and I have a special treat for you today. Follow me. Doing it yourself requires a good dose of inspiration. And I want to introduce you to a friend of mine whose DIY project should inspire you. Hi, Tom. How are you doing? Greetings. Good to have you back. Meet Doug Jackson. Hmm. Doug is building something in his yard that you need to see. Christmas present. <laughs> building a boat. And this is no small boat. A big boat with a lot and of help from a lot of people like Lyle over there. Say hello, Lyle. Hey. So Doug, what inspired you to build a boat? Um, tired of being afraid of not doing something like that, I think was the whole deal. I was, I was very um, much, uh, God, I hate to say a mama's boy, but maybe that's the case. You know, I worried about things like my mom did. And I had this dad, he didn't worry about anything. I mean, we flew out of, I had this small airplane that we flew around. If the engine started, flight check's done, let's go. You know, that was dad. Where are you going, Trevor? It's impressive. Yeah, it is. It's had a lot of work done on this year. Is that the, um, the bus engine? That is the school bus engine. I decided to learn to uh, live a, bit, a little bit more like my dad. So far, as I haven't killed myself, it's worked out a lot more fun. So have you built other boats? I built submarines, does that count? If you build boats that are supposed to sink, that's a good start, right? Because then you can't have a failure when they sink. I guess you have a failure if they didn't come back to the surface. <laughs> one of them was, uh, one of them we had a lot of fun with, we actually finished it. First one taught me not to get things too complicated. And that's what, that was my first mistake. I over-engineered everything. Are you listening, Lyle? Lyle's an engineer. And uh, we wasted too much time and effort. The second one was wooden submarine, and it was a blast. And uh, that was that kind of set me on the the starting point. You know, you got to start with something that, that you have a success. Actually, the first success I guess would be an ROV. We started that, and that worked out. And then I just kind of scaled that up to a submarine. You know, why not, right? This boat's pretty big. Seventy-four feet. 30 tons when she leaves to the Tulsa Port of Catoosa. But she's big because she's gonna be a research vessel. I watched too much Jacques Rousseau when I was little. And we're gonna have, we're gonna be the redneck version of Jacques Rousseau. So we're gonna offer this boat as a free resource for researchers that are doing oceanography and marine biology, wreck hunting, all that sort of thing. So, fun on the water. So folks that couldn't necessarily afford a research vessel that generally costs about ten thousand dollars a day yeah we're, we're going to be their dream come true and that's kind of my dream come true or if you're untying a knot you can shove that in and loosen a knot up with it oh, what's it called like for marlin spike yeah. i guess I somebody's spiking like marlin with it you could pick your nose with it yes i think it would be a dangerous thing to do but possibility so you call this the boat the internet built boat the internet built What's, what's, what's behind that name? That, the truth, you know, when I started building this thing, I thought I'd be doing this by myself. And then somebody, you know, was looking at my website. My website was pretty much just my notes. It was a collection of stuff. They asked if they could come work on it, and they did, and I enjoyed that. And somebody else did the same thing, and I enjoyed that. So then I kind of put an invitation out there. And I haven't worked a weekend alone in three years now, I think. Uh, just because people want to come in and have a part of it. And this is also the way I find my crew. So, um, you know, there's, there's great people out there that are doing fantastic work. Some of them have, have no skills, some of them have tons of skills. You know, it's all a matter about how much time they've spent doing this kind of stuff. But they, uh, as long as they have their heart in the right place and a great attitude, they make fantastic crew. So we'll step the three masts once we're in the water at the port. Then we did lower one of the masts, and we have to have a six foot draft or we hit bridges going down the river. Uh -huh. Yeah, so. We gotta make sure we're gonna load up the water and the mass are low enough. So you're is route the bridges that worry me so much is the high tension power lines. Y yeah, the, the metal those boat. Things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is my third visit. The last time I was out here, I bought one of your coffee mugs, and it just has the word "live" yeah. on it. What, what's the meaning behind that? Live. I think life is measured in how how well you do your job of living. So that's a reminder for me. I have reminders around the house, and we put all the quotes on the boat too. And they're really just, they're, uh, they're just things for me to remember to, 
to be inspired each day because you never know that you're going to get it tomorrow or not. If you had to encourage someone who's a, a viewer to become a doer, how would you do that? There's lots of great DIY content There's on fantastic YouTube. Fantastic ideas out there on YouTube, yeah. So what, what, what would you encourage, how would you encourage someone to take the step to doing? Turn off the computer. Get out there and actually do it. You know, take that first step. Make a pledge to yourself that I'm going to get out of my shop and I'm going to do something every day. And then you're going to go back and look, watch YouTube and anybody, and you're going to come up with better ways and better ideas, but you're going to be involved in doing it. You're going to be engaged in it. And that's, that's really what, uh, what I think is really what makes the change, is when you're actually out there with us and you're, you're doing it too. That's what we like. That's what I like seeing. That's why we have those project photos at the end of our videos. It's because it's just, it's just, it's great to see what other people can actually do, you know? Even if it's a birdhouse, it doesn't matter. Everybody starts with something. Even if you fail. Oh my gosh, if I had stopped on the first thing I failed at, you know, I would have shut down years ago. How long have you been working on the boat? I've been working on the boat. Bought this place and built it in 2006 for um, the purpose of building this boat. And then, so, been working on the boat really for about six years. Trevor, you want me to sew your fingers together for you? Um. Then you could, I, I, you could swim I, faster. You get, yeah, Aquaman. That's, that's just about all I could do, though. Yeah, but Aquaman, I mean, come on. You're passing up an opportunity to be Aquaman. Oh, it'll be another, you know, I don't know. I tell people two years, and I've been saying that for about the last six years. Take another two years. You know, if, you do, if you're having fun doing it, how long it takes just really doesn't make any difference. You know, that's, that's kind of the way I am with it. It's like, that's, that's not the point. The point is to go out and enjoy it. What I've noticed is everybody's having a good time. Is yeah, you know, we have we have three rules. Rule number one is get the job done. Rule number two is have fun, and that's that's probably the most important one. You know, that's what you got to do out in your shop. Now, not every day is going to be a riot out in your shop, especially you know when things go wrong and things fail. But um, it's, if you can learn from those, the next time you're out in your shop, it won't happen like that. It'll be better. Man, I'm terrible at making bows. This is not my thing. Here. I would have stopped at the two, <laughs> the two ribbons around it. No, I'm going to get better at this. <laughs> it's enough figures. I think a little double-sided tape on the back side, and I've got it made. If she doesn't mess with it too much, this is not supposed to be a skill, is it? This is not as important as welding. I hope. There we go. Yay! There's always time for a bow, isn't there? Yes. So you may have seen Doug helping me make my rocket stove um, yeah. on a Well, couple I didn't do much helping on it. These are surely have improved along the way. Well, but yeah, so we wanted to come back and bring you five of these to thank you for the original two you helped us on your make on your CNC. Yeah. I still have those. They're still operational. Uh, these so. are cool. Laser cut is definitely the way to go. And we, we rounded these edges here to help with the, the notching um, to well, get I it, know, you got all little sharp corners knocked off too yeah we <laughs> de we deepened these Some more airflow underneath yeah it needed more so, air so flow. it can vent better underneath yeah the when stove. it had a pot on it was yeah oh this oh yeah it's gonna angle the fuel in it, it, it will slide down a little bit better on its own it does yeah so this was an atypical video usually we're doing DIY in this channel but half of the DIY process is doing, is getting it done. I hope you were inspired by seeing Doug's project and hearing about what keeps him going and what got him started. So you can check out all the SV Seeker progress videos on Doug's channel, which I'll link in the comments below and up here. But I think you'll find that it's an amazing project with lots of people involved and it's fun to watch them succeed in what they're doing but they've also included when stuff doesn't go right. I think that's almost as interesting to see how they encounter problems, but then how they, how they fix them and uh, improve their design. So as always, our mission here at Green Shorts is to help you see green so you can be green. And to hopefully today provide some inspiration for you to do it yourself. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and share and subscribe to this channel, but also to Doug's channel so you can see what's happening next with SV Seeker. Thanks for watching.